please rise. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amo mieno do alleluia, evlogi toisi kirie, didaxon meta dikeoma, tasu alleluia. Επεπόθης εν η ψυχή μου του επιθυμήσε τα κρίματά σου εν παντή καιρό. Αλληλούια. My soul has grown weary because of being despondent. Strengthen me with your holy words. Alleluia. Beyond my faithful heart, your testimonies are never not grievous. Alleluia. Exceedingly distressed I am because the sinful man forsaken disregard your law. Alleluia. Metochos ego ipi pandon ton fogumenon se ke ton filason ton tasen ton asu. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Sultana, who has fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of all of her heirs, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And the Lord God will place her soul where the righteous rest and will grant to her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are the resurrection and life in the repose of your servant, Sultan, who has fallen asleep, O Christ, our God. And to you we ascribe glory, together with your begin beginningless Father, your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Eleison me kyrie. Oti e genithi nosas kois en pachni ta dikeomata su ke pelathomin. Eleison me kyrie. I am yours, save me, for your rules of life have I always sought. Be merciful to me, O Lord. From all your instructions, Lord, I have never strayed, for you have given me the law. Be merciful to me, O Lord. I have inclined my heart always to follow your rules of life as my true reward. Be merciful to me, O Lord. My Lord, for you to act, the time is upon us, for they have transgressed your Lord. Be merciful to me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Ke eleison me alleluia, epi vlepson epe me, ke eleison me, kata ton krima ton agapon ton ton masu alleluia. Neoteros eko imi ke exu denomeno esta dikeomata su ke pelathomin alleluia. My pleading voice, hear, O oh my Lord, in your mercy and in your justice grant me life. Alleluia. Rulers unjustly persecuted me, but my heart has always stood in awe of your words. Alleluia. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you. And your judgment shall assist me, Alleluia. E planithi nos prova ton Apollon zitison tin dulin su. Oti ta sendola su ke pelathomi. 
Ευλογητός σι Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά Σου, τον Αγίον ο χώρος σε φρεπήν της ζωής και θύραν παραδείσου. Εύρω καγώ την οδόν διά της μετανοίας, το απολολός προβατών εγώ ήμι, ανακάλεσε με σωτήρ και σώσον με. Ευλογητός σι Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά Σου, ο Πάλε μεν εκ μειών των πλάσας με και εικόνη σου θεία τιμή σας. Παραβάση εντολής δε πάλι με επιστρέψα στις γυναίξεις σε λήφθην. Εις το καθομοίο συνεπανάγαγε το αρχαίο καλός αναμορφώσασε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. I can am I of your ineffable glory, even though the marks of sin are upon me. Take pity, O Lord, on your own creation, and cleanse me in your compassion. And my cherished homeland do you grant to me, making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. Give rest, O God, to your departed servant now, and place her in paradise where, O oh Lord, the choirs of the saints and the righteous shine as the stars of heaven. Give her departed servant eternal rest, overlooking all her sins and trespasses. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the tribrillions of the Godhead singleness, let us praise reverently chanting. Holy are you, the beginningless Father, the co-beginningless Son and the Holy Spirit. Shine upon us who in faith worship you and deliver us all from the eternal fire. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Hail, Holy One, who bore God in the flesh so that all of us could be saved. Through you, the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise, O pure and blessed Theotokos. Alleluia, 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 doixaisi o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. pleasure and life remains without its share of sorrow. What glory stands on earth unchanged. All things are feebler than a shadow. All things more deceptive than dreams. One instant and death supplants them all. But give rest to her whom you have chosen, O Christ, in the light of your countenance and the sweetness of your beauty as you love mankind. Like a flower it withers and like a dream it vanishes and dissolves away every human being. Yet at the call of the trumpet, all the dead as if in an earthquake shall rise to meet you, O Christ our God. At that time, Lord, rest.
us the spirit of the one you have taken from us in the dwelling of the saints of Christ our God. Everything human that does not survive death is vanity. Wealth does not last, glory does not travel with us, for at death's approach all of them disappear. And so let us cry out to Christ the immortal, give rest to her who has passed from us in the dwellings of all those who rejoice. Undus foveroida donto tu thanatu mysterion, fos psychi ek tu somatos, vieos chorizete ek tis harmonias, ke tis symphias o fisikota tos desmos, thio vuli mati apotemnete, dios eiketevo mentin metastas anapason, εν σκηνές των δικαίων σου, ζωδό τα φιλάνθρωπε. I remember how the prophet cried out, I am earth and ashes, and I looked again into the tombs and saw the naked bones, and I said, Who then is king or soldier, rich or beggar, just or sinner? But give rest, O Lord, with the just to your servant. My origin and my very being came from your creative command. For at your will you fashion me a living being from invisible and visible nature. From the earth my body you formed and you gave me a soul by your breath the life-giving and divine. So Christ, your servant, rest in the land of the living and the dwelling of the righteous. Give rest, our Savior, giver of life to our sister, who has passed over from transitory things as she cries glory to you. Νοήσω τον θάνατο και είδω εν τη στάφη σκυμμένη την κατοικόνα Θεού. Πλαστήσαν η μην ωραιότητα. Άμορφων άδοξων μη έχουσαν είδο. Ο του θαύματο τύπο περί μα του το γέγονε μυστήριον. Πώ παρεδόθη με τη φθορά και συνεζεύξτη μεν το θάνατο. Όντως δε Θεού προστάξει ως γέγραπτε του παρέχοντος τη μεταστάση την ανάπαυση. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your death for mankind, O Lord, became the cause of our salvation. For had you not in the tomb been laid, for us paradise would not open. Therefore rest the departed in your eternal love for man. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O pure virgin, the word's holy gate, and God's mother entreat, we ask that mercy be given to her soul. My Blessed always be the road that you travel on today, because for you has been prepared 
a place of eternal rest. Blessed always be the road that you travel on today, because for you has been prepared a place of eternal rest. Let us be attentive. On your will, I will call on my God. Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle of Paul to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant about those who have fallen asleep, so that you will not grieve like those who have no hope. Because if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, so must we believe that God will bring with Jesus all those who have died believing in Him. For this is the Lord's teaching, we tell you, we the living who survive until the coming of the Lord will in no way meet Him ahead of those who have fell and asleep. For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command the archangel's voice and the trumpet of God. And those who have died believing in Christ will rise first. Then we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the end. And remain with him forever. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing of my own authority, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Sultan, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all of her errors, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God will place her soul where the righteous rest, and will grant to her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins, let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. In this, o Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled upon death and crushed the power of the devil and granted life to your world, do yourself, O Lord, give rest to the soul of your servant, Sultana, who has fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of green pasture, Amen. a place of repose. Amen. For there is no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin which she has committed in word, deed, or thought. For you are a good God who loves mankind. There is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant, Sultan, who has fallen asleep, O Christ, our God. And to you we ascribe glory, together with your beginningless Father, your all-holy good in life, creating spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead and has dominion over the living and the dead as a mortal king, through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy glorious forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, 
of his holy and righteous friend Lazarus, whose four days in the tomb and of all the saints, assigned to the dwelling place of the righteous, the soul of his servant Sultana, who has departed from among us. Grant her rest in the bosom of Abraham, number her among the righteous. May he also have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good and merciful God who loves mankind. May your memory be eternal, sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. May your memory be eternal, sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Eonia, imni, imni. Eonia, imni. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's been really touching over the last couple days, and especially today, to hear how so many people coming up and saying what a sweet lady Sally was, and how warm and outgoing and everything. And she had this, this very, very warm spirit, but it came from a place of a really difficult beginning to her life. And you wouldn't know it based on the way that she interacts with everybody, but her joy and positive spirit comes from a place of pain very early on. Growing up in the Depression, I remember her telling stories about her and her sister Lulu having a fight over who got someone ate the bread. Not you ate my piece of bread, but it was my turn for the bread today. And you ate it. And that was the type of life they lived And then she lost that sister, Lula. And then she lost her father. And it was just her and her mother. So they went back to live with cousins in New York, and she found all the support that she needed. And because of these early tragedies and the hardship of living in the Depression, having to rely on extended family, that became the way that she interacted with the world, which was surrounding herself with as many people as she could, because that's what she needed. That's what she needed growing up, was to be surrounded by family that would treat her as family, even though they weren't part of her immediate nuclear family, extended family, friends, and relations. And she truly understood that in the church, the body that we make, the people that we are tied to through the sacraments, become very much our real family. And so she lived her life constantly surrounding herself with people. She loved to host and entertain. She loved to open up her home. She was just truly a person who loved to be surrounded by others. She would talk. Sometimes she wouldn't stop talking. And then um, she was blessed with her daughter Maria in older age when she was, she's also a very vain woman. (laughs) Sorry, you can't stop me. she, she went to the doctor once and was filling out medical forms. And, and so the doctor, like you need to be honest with your doctor. If you don't know, you should be honest with your doctor. And it asked for her age and she put 21 plus. <laughs> like, lady, we need your birth date. Um, but that like always, always, always looking presentable. Always, always looking her best, always being ready to be, be seen by others and to put her best self out into the world was something that was really important uh, to her. And I said she was blessed with, with Maria. Um, and then, you know, 
continued to live for, for her family, right? And, and raised Maria in a home that, again, was full of Kumbadi and cousins and friends and extended family that were as close as, as blood relations. Um, and when my parents were married and they moved here, you know, in traditional Greek parents of an only child fashion, they moved across the country from New York to Chicago and got a house on the same street and came over uninvited all the time with, with Papu, you know, to the point that like they needed to be told to chill out and give us some, a little bit of space early on in, in their marriage. Um, but her family and being with people was so important. And then she was blessed with us, grandkids. And she truly lived her life making sure that everything we wanted, we had exactly the way that we wanted it. So we've all, I don't know Nicole's example of this, but we all have our own example of like Yaya doing something specifically for us that she's not doing for anyone else and really like putting herself out in order to do that. Connie doesn't eat beef, okay? But so domadas in our house, there's always two batches of domadas. There's, you know, ground beef for everybody, for all of us who don't matter, right? Because we'll eat anything. And then Connie gets like lamb and pork, like high end, right? And those are just for Connie, right? And that was, as soon as Yaya heard like, oh, she's not eating beef. Well, okay, well then I'll change my entire recipe and make this just for her. Uh, my example, one of my favorite, is I was, I was sick once uh, in high school. I was laying on the, on the couch, and she'd gone out. Uh, she lived, she'd lived with us. Um, she'd gone out to get orange juice to, to make me feel better. And she, she came back. She bought lots of pulp orange juice. And I hate pulp in my, I hate pulp in my orange juice. So I'm laying on the couch, and she comes over and brings me my orange juice. And I take a sip, and I'm like, mm. And she's like, what? What's wrong? You know, what's wrong? And they said, oh, well, you know, like, I don't, I don't like pulp. And I, she's like, oh, okay. And didn't say anything about it and, you know, took the orange juice. And I kept watching The prices Right because I was home, school from, home from school. And, you know, five minutes later, she comes back in. And I've got this beautiful glass of orange juice with no pulp in it. And she didn't go back out to the store. She took the whole carton of orange juice and strained all of the pulp out of the orange juice because, God forbid, her grandson isn't going to get the orange juice that he wants. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you're just the your forgotten child, yeah. Um, but Nicole had a, a unique relationship with Yaya in the sense that she, uh, she lived at home the most. Um, you know, Yaya moved in with us um, after Papu died, traveled the country with us from Florida to California here. Um, if you took her word for it, we are uh, 23 years overdue for today because when Papu died and she moved in with us, she told us, I don't know why I'm moving in with you. I'm not going to make it to Christmas. And then we moved to California. I don't know why I'm moving to California with you. I'm not going to make it to Christmas. And so every holiday was, I'm not going to make it to the next. And 23 years later, we finally have come to the end of that. Um, but again, Nicole lived with Yaya the longest. And so... Um, she would drive Yaya to the store and take her to get her, her medicine and her cigarettes and everything else that she, she needed when she was still smoking. Um, but uh, she loved to be with her family, right? The fact that she, again, moved so many times to make sure that she was with her family um, could have stayed in Florida. She had cousins in Florida after Papu died. She had the house. Like there was no, there was no need, right? It was 23 years ago. Look how long she's she's lived her life um, with with her family. Uh, but being around us was the most important thing for her, as I said, because that's what she needed early in her life. She needed family to step in and support and be this extended uh, lifeline to give her and her mother what they needed to be able to survive. And so that's what she learned. She learned that family stays close. She learned that family does whatever it takes in order to serve one another, be it straining out their orange juice or taking them in to live with them or finding them jobs or whatever it is. 
speaking of jobs, I'll, I'm rambling. I didn't prepare any of this. Um, she was very, very proud of the fact that she worked. Very proud of the fact that she worked. She was very proud that she worked for IBM um, on some of the first computers. She was very, very proud of her efforts during the war, that she felt that she truly contributed and made a difference in the war effort here um, working for IBM and working with the computer systems that were helping the government um, to wage the Second World War. She found great and immense pride in uh, being a woman in the 1940s who was out and working and supporting her family um, and her, her husband and you know, continued to work after the pool came back and uh, up, until, up until very near the end would still volunteer um, with Helen in, uh, at the library and would still uh, volunteer at hospitals and things like that. But she found a lot of, a lot of pride um, in, in that. And again, I believe that's all a reflection of where she came from. And so uh, as we pay our last respects to her, um, the lesson we can take from her life is that family, be they blood, be they established by the church, be they friends, these are the relationships that help give life its richness, not just richness and meaning, but support and security. That without these relationships, we would struggle to survive. And so, in her memory, let's love one another, continue to maintain strong relationships across all of our families and friends and acquaintances. Welcome them into our homes, argue with them, yes, and then make up, um, but to truly love and be surrounded by your friends and family. Now, as she uh, ended every phone call, we'll end her, her eulogy with her, her classic goodbye in light of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, who promises that all those who have fallen asleep and done well will resurrect to the resurrection of life, and that those who have fallen asleep before us will go ahead of us into the heavens to be with the Lord, to meet him and to meet us. We conclude and we say, bye for now. At this time, we'll invite everyone to come up and pay their last respects, starting from the back of the church uh, to the front. Um, Sally will be buried in New York with Mapapu in the National Cemetery on Long Island, so there will not be any procession or interment here, uh, but we do uh, invite you on behalf of the family to join us in the St. Matthew Hall uh, for a Macaria in memory of Sally. Uh,